Hi, it's Dr. Crone. In this video, we're going to explore the three basic types of governments that exist all around the world. Just a caution before we get started. When it comes to labeling actual countries with these definitions, it's not always as cut and dried as we might like it to be. Political scientists differ on how they categorize certain countries. Sometimes there can be good arguments for calling a country one type or another type. I'm going to try to give you some fairly clear examples where I think the categorization is well defined, but I'm not the last word on it to be sure. It's a good reminder that as political scientists, we need to keep our minds open and curious. Political scientists generally divide governments into three categories, depending on the number of people who are involved in decision making. Autocracy is ruled by one person. Oligarchy is ruled by a group of leaders. And democracy is ruled by all the citizens of the country. As we move from one category to another, we see that the number of people who hold power in the government increases significantly. An autocracy is a government where one person exercises total power. The leader makes all decisions and their will cannot be changed unless the leader changes their mind. In these countries, the leader will certainly have many advisors to rely on, but ultimately the decisions are made by the leader alone. We can divide autocracies into two groups. One is the absolute monarchy. This is where there is a hereditary ruler often called a king or emperor or sheikh. In an absolute monarchy, the rule of law requires that when the ruler dies, he or she is replaced by their heir, usually their son or daughter. The monarch rules completely and makes all decisions. Throughout history, this has been the most common type of government, but absolute monarchies are very rare today. One of the few absolute monarchies ex existing today is Saudi Arabia. Most monarchies today are constitutional monarchies, like the United Kingdom, Sweden, or Japan. A constitutional monarchy is a democracy where the monarch has only symbolic power, and the constitution of the country strongly limits their power. The democratically elected legislature in a constitutional monarchy makes the actual laws and decisions. The other type of autocracy is a dictatorship. Here, the ruler holds power by force and is not a member of a royal family. For example, Kim Jong-un of North Korea is a dictator who holds power by dominating the military and other government institutions. Although he did succeed his father, the original North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il, the Kims are not a royal family and instead derive their legitimacy through manipulation of the country's constitution and forceful domination of other politicians and the institutions of government, such as the military, law enforcement, and the court system. The second type of government is an oligarchy. Oligarchy means rule by a small group of people. Power is shared here rather than being concentrated in one person as it is in an autocracy. Oligarchies are very common forms of government and there are many different varieties of oligarchies. For example, aristocracy, which is ruled by the rich and privileged of a society. A good example are the wealthy landowners referred to as lords who ruled England before the 1700s. While England still grants some special ceremonial privileges to descendants of these lords, this group does not have the power to make laws anymore. Another type of oligarchy is a theocracy. Theocracies are governments where power is held by a group of religious leaders who govern according to the principles of their religion. Iran is a good example of a theocracy today, where power is shared by a group of religious leaders called the Guardian Council. Interestingly, the colony of Massachusetts before the United States came to be was a theocracy for more than half a century. The Puritan leaders ruled Massachusetts according to Puritan principles in the 1600s and were very repressive. Many non-Puritan colonists left Massachusetts seeking freedom from religious extremism. Another type of oligarchy is the military government, often referred to by the Spanish term junta. 
Many countries in Latin America were ruled by military juntas in the 1970s and 80s, and military governments have been fairly common all over the world. The last type of government is one most of us are familiar with, democracy. The word democracy comes from two Greek roots, demos, which means people, and kratis, which means rule by. Thus, democracy means rule by the people. Democracy comes in different varieties as well. One way that the people can rule is for voters to vote on laws directly. This is called direct democracy. Contrary to popular belief, direct democracy exists to some extent in many countries around the world, including the United States. Many democracies allow people to vote directly on some laws. In the U.S., citizens are often asked to vote on local taxes, such as school levies or bond issues. In Ohio, as well as many other states, we can also vote on some proposed state laws and proposed amendments to our state constitution. The picture on the left comes from a direct democracy campaign in 2015 to legalize recreational marijuana. Ohio voters voted against that proposed law. Most laws in democracy, though, are made via indirect democracy. Indirect democracy means citizens vote for representatives who form a legislature. These representatives then vote on laws. In the U.S., all national laws are made by indirect democracy, and most state laws are made that way as well. Therefore, the U.S. has elements of both direct and indirect democracy. I hope you've enjoyed this quick trip through the types of governments. For the rest of our course, we'll be focusing specifically on democracy and more specifically on democracy in the United States. If you're interested in learning more about the other types of governments, you might want to follow up this course by taking comparative politics, which is polls 1200. In that course, we study governments around the world, including oligarchies and autocracies.